What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and in today's video I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite legendary weapons that I've found in the game so far. It's the liquid cooling of impatience and as you can see by the footage when you're hitting an enemy with a critical hit you never need to reload the thing. Now this happens to be a great weapon for those of you putting together a frost build because it only drops in cryo. However it's such a powerful gun that it really can be used for any build whatsoever. Now you can see in the map where I crack mass cove and and you want to go to the fast travel point, the Salty Saunter, then you'll make your way to the Obelisk, which is located here on the map, as you'll see me scroll over in a second. Now, to the best of my knowledge, this is the only boss in the game that drops this weapon. Now, you may be able to get it from the Chaos Chamber, but in regards to open world bosses, this seems to be a dedicated drop. If you've seen it anywhere else, please let me know in the description down below. Now, there happen to be a few important things I want to mention as we move on. As most of you know, in this game, if you find a certain boss, you're going to farm over over and over and then you want to either save and quit or you're going to fast travel back to Brighthoof. However, there is a bug going on in the game right now where if you save and quit, you actually wind up losing some of your loot luck. I put out a video yesterday in regards to the bug that's going on in the game. I'll leave a link to that video in the description down below. But to be clear, if you're going to farm this area over and over, open up a portal, fast travel back to Brighthoof, and then go back to this location because that way you will not lose any of your loot luck whatsoever. Now, as far as the weapons go, so far I've found two variations of it and they're both ridiculously powerful. One of the best things about this weapon is you can farm for it as soon as you get to this obelisk in the game. So it doesn't matter what level you're at. And another question people ask is why should you bother farming for a weapon that you know is going to be pretty much irrelevant as you continue through the game? And that's due to the fact that, you know, as you level up, you're going to want to get stronger items and weapons. So why spend your time grinding for something now that you're not going to be using, you know, in three or four levels? However, with a weapon like this, it truly makes your gameplay that much easier as you're progressing. So what I tend to do and I've said this in videos before, is every three to four levels, I mean, I'll just find a spot farm for something like this. You can see I got another version here. This one's even more powerful than the other one, and it just absolutely melts enemies, which makes my progression in the chaos system that much faster. Now, for those of you that happen to be at the point in the game where you do have a chaos rank, you've gone to the chaos chamber, you're leveling up there, you do have the option of switching your chaos levels in between attempts, and that should not affect your loot luck negatively in any way. And keep in in mind when I say that I'm referring to the bug that's going on in the game so switching your chaos level won't have that bug take place obviously your luck level is going to change because the higher the chaos level equals the higher loot luck but again it should not activate the bug at all many of you may be new here and one of my goals in creating this channel was to create a toxic free gaming environment where people work together and help each other out so if you happen to know any other weapons that have dedicated loot drops please let me know in the description down below I definitely want to put something together as the goal is to help out as many people as we can. With all that being said, I'm going to start to wrap this video up. However, as always, I need to take a moment and thank you all for your incredible support of my Tiny Tina's Wonderlands videos. I just started making these. You have welcomed me into the community and the fact that you're here at the channel being a part of this family sincerely means the world. But actually, really quick, if you happen to have any favorite legendary items, weapons, or it doesn't matter if it's legendary or not, any weapons or gear that have really helped you get through certain points in the game, let me know what they are in the description down below. I'm in the process of putting together about 10 of my favorite things so far and would love to hear your feedback as well. At this point, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out, show you a little more gameplay footage, but as I mention at the end of every video, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor, hit that like button as well, but most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.